Well, welcome back. Uh, like I said before the break, we'll be heading straight into the matter of Action Alliance. I'm in the studio now with Mr. Uh, Professor, pardon me. Dr. Ade Dr. Sir? Dr. Okay. Adekunle Omoaje is the Action Alliance National Chairman and he's here to speak on the issues within the party and their plans for uh, just less than a month away when the elections begin. So welcome to the program. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. Um, let's start from the basics. Uh, a lot of people are not aware of what's going on, but we know that there's some sort of contention between um, your faction of the party and another, which, which has a presidential candidate and has been campaigning for the last couple of months. So what's going on? What's the genesis of this? And where are we right now? Thank you very much, my brother. I, in the first place, I want to uh, uh, correct uh, that uh, perspective that uh, there is a fashion in mm. National Alliance. There wasn't a fashion in the National Alliance. We have only one National Alliance, which was simply led by my humble self, Honorable Kunle Rafael Maje. There have never been a fashion in National Alliance. Uh, this one that uh, uh, the just uh, uh, created in the Arsenal Alliance is only between Barrister Kenneth Udizi and the INEC. They were the one who made it to look like uh, we have a faction in Arsenal Alliance uh, because our, since uh, 2019, Barrister Kenneth Udizi and I choose to be a member of Action Alliance, in which officially Heineck wrote to him when his own executive, his own executive, passed forth of no confidence in him, and he was suspended and later expelled from the party. And I wrote to him, in which I have the copy of the uh, letter of Heineck to Kenneth Obidichi Udeze, dated 9th of August 2019. I will leave this uh, document uh, uh, with Captain. I will mark it as an uh, exhibit of my J1, which I will drop here. You can go through it, you will see that. Officially, I make this recognize uh, Kenneth Obidichi Odeze. And after that, his own executive continued the Ateneo, led by Alaji Abubakar, his deputy national chairman. When they finished the Ateneo, that was when I contested and I was uh, elected with my uh, executive. In what year, please? That was on the 15th of February, 2020. Monitored by Heineck. And since then, Heineck have been relating with my executives. And when we now had that uh, Kenneth Obidiche Deze was still parading himself up and down, we make a public notice disclaimer that this man that is parading himself as a national chairman of Fashion Alliance is no more a member of our party. We did this advert in the Guardian newspaper on July 5, 2021, full page, which I mark as an exhibit of my J2. I will drop it here. See, Kenneth now went to court. He now filed suit against myself, our party, and INEC. He filed this suit, uh, which should number no FCT slash HC slash C film slash one seven three four slash twenty one. In the judgment delivered by Honorable Justice Suleiman Beguri, the, the Honorable Justice confirmed 
the suspension and expulsion of a Kenneth Udise from Action Alliance. This is the judgment delivered by Justice Begori, dated 1-11-2021. I leave the copy here. After that, Kenneth challenged this uh, judgment at Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal delivered their judgment on the seventh day of January 2022 in suit number C A slash A B J slash C F slash eight seven nine slash twenty twenty one. In the judgment delivered by Ali A. B. Gume, JCA, confirmed that Kenneth Obidichi Udese is no more member of Arsenal Alliance. So he cannot even be struggling for the leadership. He's a total stranger in this party. I will leave this judgment for your perusal. After that, Kenneth Obidichi Udese still sent a lawyer to represent him in the matter of our party versus INEC at Abeokuta Federal High Court. In the court, when they now called our case, one lawyer stood for me and another lawyer stood for Kenneth Udeze. Then the court now said that two of you cannot re represent in one party. And one, one party cannot have two national uh, chairmen. So you people should go and file motion to tell this court how you, your chairman, is the authentic national chairman. They did that. After that, the court deliver the judgment on the 8th day of September 2022. The Honorable Justice Joe Abdul Malik confirmed and still affirmed that Barrister Kenneth Obidiche Udeze is no more member of Action Alliance. He did not stop at that. He found the lawyer that called Kenneth Obidiche national chairman in this court. He found the lawyer one million naira in suit number FAC slash AB slash CS slash 120 slash 2022. Obidiche Dese and his lawyer appeal this judgment. And court of I dropped this as exhibitor by J5. The court of appeal. The court of appeal delivered judgment. On the 11th day of November 2022, in suit number appeal number CA slash IB slash 378 slash 2022, the court of appeal still affirmed that Kenneth Obidichi Udisi is no more member of this party. And affirmed the fine of that, that one million naira against the lawyer and added another one. I will drop the judgment as exhibit of my J6 for your perusal. Instead of Kenneth to be the busy to move straight, if it was not 
agree with all this uh, court of appeal judgment he now use one name chief Uzewuru Mwachuku to sue him which I refer to Kenneth Sue Kenneth he use this name no human being bearing this Uchewuru Mwachuku only on the paper of this uh, Kenneth uh, court suit in suit number FCT slash AC slash CF slash one seven four slash twenty twenty two. He went there, sue himself in conjunction with INEC that they were fighting over leadership of Aso Alliance who is chairman between the two of them and how like half representative there so to say and from the two arguments they really got have to decide then justice Elojo Eneche now deliver his judgment on the uh, 20th day of March 2022. He now confirm Kenneth as the uh, national chairman of the party. But after this, Superior Court has even nullified this judgment and affirm me as the authentic uh, national chairman of the party and still confirm the expulsion of a uh, Kenneth Obidichi Udese in National Alliance Party. But still, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, the INEC chairman, still refused to obey the court's judgments. I leave this one as well on my journey. After that, Kenneth Obidiche Udese used the name of our party to sue uh, NNPP. And uh, their presidential candidate. When we heard about it, I went to the court. I filed to join in the suit, and the court joined me. After listening to me, the court threw out the case filed by Kedeto Bidichi with this because he don't have local standing to as so to use the name of the party to sue because he's not a member of that uh, uh, party. Yes, um, I, I just have to cut you short there very quickly. Let's go for a very quick break. When we return, we can go further into um, your explanation of what happened. Uh, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're still with um, the national chairman of the Action Alliance uh, is still speaking on parties um, or matters uh, within the party. All right, uh, Mr. Amaje, for lack of time, we may have to speed things up a bit. Yep. I'd like to understand something. Have you been in contact with the candidate or Mr. Odeze himself or the candidate that emerged, presidential candidate who is a notable figure, uh, Major uh, Mustafa retired? Have you explained to them, and because we've had um, his vice presidential candidate here on the, on, the, on the show, and he said there's no faction and there's no problem that they are the legitimate uh, candidates. Have you been able to speak with them? Uh, well, uh, Major Amsat Al Mustafa is a well known person to me. We are friends. But politically, he is not a member of our party. It extends to him through uh, Mr. Kenneth. Mujal uh, Mustafa is not a member of Asher Alliance Abinishu hmm. because one, he 
didn't register through our party. We don't have his name in the register of our party. So, the candidate to DPC would say who signed his membership card and all his form submitted to INEC is not a member of our party. So, you cannot put something or nothing. We have our genuine presidential candidate, Mr. Solomon Okanigua, and all the other contestants, all the candidates throughout the Federation. We have all our, our candidates, which was submitted to Heineck and INEC under Professor Mami Yakubu refused to upload their uh, name. Uh, and we went to court. Yeah. We went to court. And court, court, on the fourth day of November, 2022, in suit number FAC slash ABJ slash CS slash 1759 slash 2022, order Heineck to give me pin code to upload my candidates. This is the order of the court. So what is your communication with INEC? Have they responded to you? What did they say when you tried to bring this up? All these judgments, my, my a lawyer, Obaba Dwabuchi, SAN, immediately we got any judgment he will write to the chairman and where we cannot understand what is going on is that when you are in court any court in this federation and you see lawyers from the legal department of INEC you will know that they have one of the finest lawyers in this country as of today as at the last time Heineck have about four SAN in their legal department, apart from other senior lawyers and experienced one. I don't think they will have that kind of legal department and they will not have advice Professor Mahmoud Yakubu rightly. So what do you think is going on? Uh, well, for a very long time, uh, Kenneth Guduche, they say I've been a uh, star boy of uh, Professor Bambu Yakubu. You will see, even during the time that Guduche uh, uh, was a uh, career player, card car up and down in Abuja here in National Assembly, that uh, if the uh, National Assembly didn't uh, uh, confirm uh, Professor Bambu Yakubu as uh, for his second term. Uh, the way we, uh, everyone will fall. So, and uh, if you can listen very well uh, to radios or uh, newspapers, you will see that even if anything happens, instead of uh, whether IPAC talk on behalf of other political parties, it will be a uh, bit that we first of all uh, be praising uh, Professor Yakubu or defending uh, him. Anybody that uh, talk anything about Professor Yakubu Kenneth Ibidichi will be the one to condemn the, uh, the person. So he has been his boy. But I think Professor Bambu Yakubu can still uh, help Ibidichi with this uh, by creating one department for him in Iron Lake and leave our party alone. Mm. Alright, so w what is now, what do you do now? You've been to the courts, you know, and um, he's now yielding. Or so to speak, the results you want. We had talks of a protest or thereabouts. Is yeah. that something that will still happen? Yes. Or what other actions do you have? It will happen. Because on the 10th day of January, today is 16, 10th day of January, there was still another ruling at the Federal High Court, Abuja, in FAC slash ABG slash CS slash 1871 last 2022 not only did that court confirm and affirm that Kenneth Obidiche is not a member of this party but of course learn 
fine of one million naira upon him and his lawyer, S.C. S.C. Uchendu, Barrister S.C. Uchendu, for coming to that court and be calling uh, Barrister Kenneth Udisi, National Chairman of Asian Alliance. This is the ruling of the that federal high court delivered by Justice B.F.M. Yako on the 10th day of January. I will leave it. Yeah. Yes. Before we've turned our naked quarters to our second office, every day we will be there. Making them see the reason or convinced us why they will not obey this uh, uh, judgment. But in reaching stage, All what they can be telling me is that I should go back home and be praying so that one day Professor Mamou Yakubu will have pity on us. Now, from there, we now decided that uh, if court said that he should give us Pinko to load upload our candidates put our names my executive back to the porter because we don't believe that one day we've moved out of office and that is the reason we are still doing our normal our duty as an executive of the party the next thing now is that we are writing the attorney general of the federation we are planning a rally for next week god willing and we thank god that people are listening to us and we've now get a lot of uh, support right uh, so, uh, finally i'd like to know how has this affected your campaigns have you put them on hold waiting for that final um, acknowledgement by INEC or have you gone ahead with your campaign? We are, we are going, it, we didn't even believe that uh, uh, our candidate will not uh, participate in the election. Oh, you are working with the mindset that he's, he will be on the ballot? Yes, because if my candidates were not on the ballot, it, is no, it will not only affect Action Alliance, it will affect all other political parties, APCO, PDPO, Labour Party, any one of them, we uh, where we don't have power to utter the timetable of INEC, the lesson will come, but we will obtain it at tribunal for exclusion. All right, then. thank you very much for coming and for sharing your side of the story. Perhaps uh, we'll have you another time to speak more on your actual, you know, plans for the country and all of that. Yeah. But I, I know that when um, contentions like this arise, it tends to distract people. Yeah. But at Captain TV, I want um, each party or candidate to be able to say to the people, this is what we're offering. Mm -hmm. So some other time we'll get to talk about your plans, your candidate's plan for the country. Agreed Thanks for indeed. coming. Thank and, you very uh, much. We also reach out to the other side so we can have a balance report. But thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm well, going to. Now um, we'll go on a short break and then uh, the rest of the policy continues when we return. Do stay with us. We'll be right back.